Pitt's devoted dad wants to make sure that his little one, six-month-old Emma, is protected at all times. So he says it's good news that Moderna wants emergency use authorization from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for its COVID-19 vaccine for children six months to five years old. We are considering it and we're excited we've been waiting. We have a 12-year-old who also has been vaccinated. so. Uh, the prospect of it is, is really exciting. Dr. Matthew Sims is director of infectious disease research at Beaumont Health and supports the idea of a pediatric vaccine. I think that it's a good idea. I think that the more people you can vaccinate, including kids, the more you control the entire spread of this disease. There is no clear timeline for approval for emergency use authorization. But Dr. Sims says if he were part of the FDA panel looking into this, these are the questions that need to be addressed. How well do, how well do they develop antibodies in general? How well does it keep kids out of the hospital? Keep kids from getting very sick. But Dr. Sims believes this should be the key question. But it's really about does it keep kids out of the hospital enough to justify the vaccine? And if it does, the answer is give it. If it doesn't, the answer is not yet. We need a better vaccine. Doctors say a vaccine for this age group would not only have a direct benefit, but an indirect benefit also. The direct benefit is the person who gets it doesn't get sick. The indirect benefit is the person who gets it doesn't act as a vector, doesn't spread it to other people. If emergency use approval is granted, the vaccine would be delivered in this way. The Moderna vaccine, uh, the dose is about a quarter of the adult vaccine from uh, what I understand, and it's a two dose series. Parents who have doubts about this vaccine should consider this. We vaccinate kids this young for flu, even though they tend to do better. We vaccinate kids this young for a number of things that they tend to do okay with. Dr. Sims makes it clear that COVID vaccines have proven to be effective and the real concern should be if your child becomes infected with the virus. We don't know yet how bad the kids who get COVID significantly will be in the future. Will it cause problems down the road? This dad says it's a better day with the pediatric vaccine than without it. I really hope that it, uh, it moves forward and, and we're anxiously waiting. In Royal Oak, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.